Hi. I know what you're gonna say, all right? And I, I'm late. I, I know I'm very late, but I, there was something that I had to do that was really important. And I did it, and everything's fine. In fact, it's better than fine. So where is she? In mommy's sweet little sleeping angel. When I'm not with you, you know that? I have to go out again, but I couldn't stand not seeing you. Oh, how does she do this? You're more beautiful than when I left you, you know that? Yes, you are. Just like her mother. So were you good for your Uncle Sammy? She was perfect. We had a great day. She even gave me some ideas for the story I'm working on. So, how did it go with Philip? Did you go through with it? Yeah, I did. I asked him to marry me, and he said, yes. Oh, it's okay. Did you hear that, sweetheart? Oh, I know. But your daddy said yes. And everything's gonna be all right. Mommy's gonna make sure. I guess it's too much to expect you to be happy for me, huh? Come on, Liv. I was all about plan A. You take your daughter, you get out of here, you go raise her anywhere other than this crazy town. Plan B, I can't wrap my head around it. Why would you want to stay here? Nothing good has ever happened to either one of us here in Springfield. And you don't need the Spaulings to have a good life. So don't try and tell me some story about you and Philip finding each other, okay? Oh, well, Sam, you're the writer. I was hoping you'd come up with a happy ending. Look, I'm doing the right thing for Emma. I know that I am. A child needs two parents. I turned out okay. Yeah, you did. But I would have given anything if our parents could have been there for you, okay? I can give this gift to Emma. Some gift? Two parents that don't love each other? No. Look, there was a time I would have agreed with you, but Philip and I do love each other. That's never been the problem for us. We've just made big mistakes, you know, but we can fix things. And we have our little girl to help us get back on track. <laughs> That's a big responsibility to give a little girl. Hey, Emma, fix mommy and daddy. Oh, stop it. No, you stop it. No, that's not an option for me, Sam, okay? But you know what? If this is too difficult for you to watch, you could just pack, pack it up and go back to school. Look, if you know I'm never going to ditch out on the two of you, but how can you expect me to sit back? Not be brutally honest. Uh, look, I know. And I wouldn't have it any other way most of the time. Look, don't think this is some larker game for me, okay? Lying about Emma, not only to Philip, but about, uh, to Cassie, the one person in the town has actually been a good friend to me. This has all been brutal. Well, good. Because, you know, I was beginning to think that these kinds of things were coming too easy to you. Oh, you know what? No, that's brutal. Look, I need you to cut me a little slack right now, Sam. Okay, Liv, I'm sorry. I'll try. I'd feel better if I knew when you were going to introduce Emma to her daddy. When the time's right, Sam. And then after that, you can, you can, you know, you can go back to your own life. I love being with the two of you. I just can't stand the idea of you ending up more like them. Oh, Sam, that's not gonna happen, all right? This is just about survival, that's all. Look, in order to win against a family like the Spaldings, you have to help Spalding them. That's all I'm doing. And I promise you, underneath all this lying and scheming and secret keeping, I'm still your sweet, uncomplicated big sister. And I promise you, I promise you that, oh, very soon the world's gonna know. Emma Spencer Spalding, right after Mommy, takes care of a few little details. Oh, my baby. I love you. Okay. 